Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today on the morning of September 16th, Apple released iOS 9 or 9.0 to the general public, and in this video we have some very important information to discuss regarding jailbreaking. <laughs> All right, so to start off, TLDR, or rather too long didn't watch, there will actually be a wrap up toward the end. So I'll have an annotation on your screens now if you're on desktop that will allow you to skip ahead to that segment if you click it. Now with that said, I'm also going to discuss a new giveaway toward the end. You can win one of these brand new metallic Apple Lightning Dock stands. I have one here on my iPhone 6 Plus. All you have to do is just rate this video up and again, stick around to the end for instructions. Okay, so Apple released iOS 9, but they were also going to release Watch OS 2. So let's briefly talk about that for a second. I have Watch OS 2 GM running here on this backup Apple Watch that I have. However, according to TechCrunch, Apple said, quote, we have discovered a bug in development of Watch OS 2 that is taking a bit longer to fix than we expected. We will not release Watch OS 2 today, but will shortly. And really, that's better for the scheduling of this video anyway. That means we can devote our attention to iOS 9 as well as jailbreaking. Now, I have the final build of iOS 9 running here. It's identical to GM. So for those of you who did update to GM or Goldmaster, last Last week, which was issued to developers, it's the exact same firmware. I've been playing around with it for a while now. It's pretty good. However, if you're jailbroken, it just does not compare. So as you can see here, this iPhone is definitely running iOS 9. We have the revised multitasking as well as the news application. I could go on to show you guys some other things, but for the sake of this video, let's just move on. So let's discuss who should update to iOS 9. If your device is jailbroken, like my iPhone 6 Plus is here on iOS 8.4, or earlier and you value your jailbreak, definitely do not update because as soon as you make the jump from whichever firmware you're on to iOS 9, you will instantly lose your device's ability to jailbreak until the next untethered utility is released. So. How can we prevent against updating? Well, thankfully, Apple blocks OTA updates for jailbroken devices, meaning I'm on iOS 8.4 here and I haven't received an OTA update for either 8.4.1 or iOS 9. The only way you'd actually have that little notification inside of settings saying there's an update is if you actually jailbroke with an OTA update notification already. If you're already jailbroken, you will not get an OTA update. There's just no way to. The only way would be to actually plug your device into your computer via a USB cable and launch up iTunes. Once you do, you will actually receive a notification stating that there is an available update. Do not blindly click that prompt to download and install said update. I cannot tell you guys how important and crucial that is. That's how so many individuals unfortunately lose their devices jailbreak. Now, if you're on iOS 8.4.1, things get a little bit interesting. So let's load up Safari here. Recently, I created a video discussing Pangu's exploits that they publicized. So Pangu did not release a jailbreak. However, what they did is they publicized three new vulnerabilities that could be used to create a jailbreak. One in particular is a very powerful kernel exploit. So they basically said, hey, we're not gonna release a jailbreak for 8.4.1. We're working on other things, likely iOS 9. So anyone who wants to finish the work and pick up the slack here definitely can and release their own utility. Now that may definitely happen in the future, but what should you do? Should you wait for that to happen or should you update to iOS 9 now? Well, that's really up to you, but we haven't heard anything come of this. Again, this news was breaking on September 8th. It's already the 16th, so we're just over a week from that point. We haven't heard anything come of it yet, so really the decision is up to you because we do know that. Because we do know that Pangu, Taiji, and a new team dubbed Keen are working on creating a new jailbreak for iOS 9. And speaking of iOS 9, I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar. Hacker I Hate Snow released a video demonstrating that he could successfully jailbreak iOS 9 untethered. He used an iPhone 5 in said video, and there's actually a lot of misconception going around about what he did and how he was able to achieve it. So essentially, he did jailbreak iOS 9 GM, which again is the public build 
build on an iPhone 5. However, because of the low-level exploit he used, defeating iOS 9's rootless security was easier. However, it would only be applicable to non-64-bit devices, meaning everything before the iPhone 5S, because of course this was the first 64-bit device. And for those of you who are wondering, this is actually just my screen protector here. I need a new one on this iPhone. But at any rate, if he were to release this jailbreak, which he already stated that he doesn't have any plans to, it would only be for the 32-bit devices, so not even the newest ones. The current jailbreaks that we've had as of late are user land jailbreaks, and that's where things will get a lot harder with iOS 9. Apple has definitely upped their efforts, so we'll see what happens. But remember, guys, there are three teams on the scene. Nothing will come of I Hate Snow's jailbreak, but it is good news that iOS 9 was able to be jailbroken. But thankfully, if there is any silver lining, I Hate Snow confirmed that once iOS 9 is jailbroken internally, it's very similar to iOS 8, meaning the majority of the tweaks will work out of the box once we're jailbroken on iOS 9 with little to no updates from the developers of said tweak. So it won't be like last year where it took forever for jailbreak developers to actually update their packages for iOS 8. No, most of them will work for iOS 9. Okay guys, so that's where we stand now as far as iOS 9 and jailbreaking is concerned. I'll give you guys a quick summary in just a second, but if you want a chance to enter to win one of these brand new awesome docs, all you have to do is just rate this video up and then navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari. Once you do, just sign up and download any of the sponsored applications here for points, and you can actually use those points for some really awesome prizes, including paid apps from Apple's App Store and gift cards. And once you do that, then just navigate to this video where I unbox these guys and leave your referral code in the comments section. There's actually another set of instructions in that video, but basically all you have to do is just take the unique portion of this link that you find here in the fourth tab on Free Apps Fast and post it in the comments on that video. All right, so now for the TLDR or TLDW, I guess, too long didn't watch. So there's not an iOS 9 jailbreak as of yet. The firmware was just released to the public. If you're already jailbroken, do not update Update, definitely avoid any sort of update prompts inside of iTunes. If you're on iOS 8.4.1, which of course is not jailbroken, the choice is really up to you. Pangu released three exploits that anyone can use to create a jailbreak, though it will require work from whoever decides to pick up the slack. We haven't seen anything come of it yet, so we may or may not get an 8.4.1 jailbreak before an iOS 9 jailbreak, because three renowned teams are currently on the scene working hard and diligently on the first jailbreak jailbreak for iOS 9, again 9.0. It's also great news that we have so many people working on the next jailbreak, about three times as many as we had last year for the first iOS 8 jailbreak, so we're definitely confident in the creation of a new jailbreak utility. It should be sooner than expected, especially since what's going on with these new iPad models. The iPad Pro will not be released until November. We do not have a new iPad Air, and the iPad Mini 4 is already released, so we might not actually have to wait for those devices, but rather just the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Depending on the challenges iOS 9 throws up, if we're looking at a time frame here, it could actually be as early as the end of September or possibly pushing into October. But to be notified anytime anything happens, be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. I will definitely update you guys with in-depth and detailed videos, of course, similar to this one. And if you want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I also create created a new Vine account, so if you guys are into that type of thing, you can follow me on Vine just by searching for I Crack Your Eye Device. Again, I really hope you guys like this video and that you found the information in it useful, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out.